hey guys i'm Seth from linux plus and today i'll be showing you how to do about linux mint 19.1 otisa or any other linux mint version along with your windows dual boot means a system with two operating system that lets you install and use two operating system on a single pc and the good thing is you can install or dual boot linux mint along with your windows just by following some simple steps in this video i'll be showing you these steps so anyone knowing nothing about linux and anyone knowing nothing about dual boot can do it perfectly and of course without losing any data so without any further Further ado, let's get started. So first of all you have to download uh, Linux Mint. I'm going to download Linux Mint 19.10 version. Uh, you can download any other version because the procedure is same. So choose any server and just download it. After that I need to download the PowerSO. PowerSO is this application, uh, it will create a bootable USB for you. Uh, you can use uh, any other application to make a bootable USB but I got PowerSO is best for this job. That's why I'm using it and I'm showing you PowerSO. You can use uh, Rufus uh, and uh, other application if you want. So after downloading uh, PowerSO you have to run it or uh, install it as I already have installed. I'm not going to install that. And after installing it you have to insert the USB drive. You will need at least a 4 gigabyte for uh, USB for that and uh, after inserting that uh, you have to run power ISO as an administrator and after that uh, as I'm using uh, free version I have to click continue unregistered so after that you have to format your USB drive let's format that okay hit ok then okay so you can see i'm using uh, 8 gb you can use uh, 4 gb but less than 4 gb is not enough so let's uh, hit tools then create bool usb and from here just uh, select the downloaded uh, linux mint version and open it and uh, select your uh, usb drive and then start and after that uh, hit ok and it will take uh, five to eight minutes depends on your drive speed and after that hit ok and close your power iso you can see it's uh, showing uh, 2.25 mb actually it was uh, 8 gb pen drive i'll be showing you how to solve this how to get back your usb drive at the end of this video so don't worry just check the end of this video i'll be using this uh, usb drive to install uh, linux mint For that I have to open computer manager and then from there you have to open disk manager and uh, from here I need to make some free space. You can uh, get free space by shrinking any volume or by deleting any volume. I am going to delete uh, E drive uh, as you can see it's only 30 GB. I will suggest you to make at least 30 GB and the more the better. I am going to use this free space to install Linux Mint there. So after that just restart your PC and uh, find out a way to get into the boot manager. Uh, in my case as I am using a gigabit motherboard yeah, it was F12 button to get into the boot selection part and for your case it can be F2, it can be escapes, it can be delete button or whatever button you need to find out a way and you need to boot your USB drive. So after that you can see I uh, loaded inside of this Linux Mint you may see an option for selecting try Linux Mint and install Linux Mint. If you see this option then you have to select uh, install Linux Mint uh, or if you see an option like me if it's actually try mode you can install it by clicking uh, install Linux Mint from here. After that you have to select your language and continue and you need to select your keyboard layout then it continue then install third party software in that case you will need uh, internet connection so make sure you are connected to your internet and if you don't have any option to connect to the internet um, you can leave it you can do it later and in that part i will suggest to select uh, something else so uh, it will give you more options so just select something else then continue So here is the most important part. Uh, if you delete any drive, uh, it will be deleted uh, permanently. So be careful with that. As you can see, we have two drive. In your case, it can be more drive. 
you can see we created Sharti GB free space it's showing as a free space so I'm going to install Linux Mint there so just select the free space and hit the plus icon and from here uh, select tool size and from primary and select uh, location beginning of this uh, space and uh, from use as uh, select a ext journalizing file system you can uh, create swap area if you're using uh, a pc with uh, less than 4 gb ram then you should make 2 gigabit of swap area and if you're using 4 gb or more than 4 gb then you don't need it so i'm not going to create a swap area just uh, use a zxt journalizing file system so from here you can create a root drive or home drive if you want to create a home drive then uh, i think you should select at least uh, 20 gb so as i have only 30 gb here i'm just showing you how to create home drive but keep in uh, keep that in mind in your mind that uh, home drive is not an important thing but uh, to manage your data it's uh, good to create a home drive so i'm just showing you making uh, by making 3 gb home drive in your case i will recommend you to create at least uh, 10 gb or 20 gb home drive so if everything goes okay then uh, let's uh, hit the free space again because uh, i need to create the root drive because this is the main part of this installation so select the free space and plus icon and then select paste in my case it's a 28 gb primary from the beginning and it uses ext4 journalizing file system and uh, from mount point i have to select uh, root and then okay so that's it you can see i'm going to create a 28 gb root and 3 gb 4 gb home actually 4 gb phone home is not recommended you should uh, make at least 20 gb home see device for bootload and installation you have to select your full hard drive location uh, in my case as i'm using virtual machine uh, it's a 64 gb in your case it will be one terabyte maybe 500 gb or if you're using ssd it can be 500 or 128 uh, gb uh, depends um, just select the full hard drive location uh, by default it should be selected the full hard drive location so you don't need to change it just check that it's uh, full your full hard drive location is selected here so after that uh, you can uh, hit the install now button you can see i'm going to straight uh, home to partition here uh, so if it's okay then hit continue and then select your location and then hit continue and then fill up your information and create your account and then hit continue this will take 10 to 20 minutes it depends on your internet speed and drive speed so you have to wait so if everything goes okay then you will see that pop-up menu uh, for restarting uh, your operating system um, if you see this uh, message you have to remove your usb drive and after that uh, you have to restart your pc and then you will get boot menu and from here you can get into your linux mint and you can get into windows so let's uh, open our linux mint 19.1 cinnamon and let's uh, log into our system so you can see it's uh, working just fine so let's check our windows is working or not so let's restart it this again and get into our windows so our windows is also working just fine so our windows is working fine let's clean our usb drive because our job is done here so now let's see how to clean your usb drive and get your usb drive pin drive back so for that you need to open power so as an administrator and then continue unregistered as i'm using a free version and then tools then clean usb drive and select your usb and then clean it and hit ok so after a moment you will see that message so hit ok now we have to format this drive again so let's format it So that's it, uh, hit OK. So here we go, uh, we got our uh, 8 GB USB drive back. So thank you guys, thank you for watching. If you have any problem or any question, you can leave that in a comment below. I'll always try to be there to help you. If you dislike this video, you can hit the button. But if you like it or it helped you, then hit like, get subscribed and hit the bell icon to stay notified. And this side signing out. See you in the next one.